Scrambler motorcycles are motorcycles used for motocross racing. They are also used to race on track roads that are closed off and short. These track roads are often laden with many obstacles. Scramblers have fuel tanks smaller than the average motorcycle. This makes the motorbike very compact and light. The long suspension gives the allowance for the motorcycle riders to jump while speeding. Scramblers can have two-stroke or four-stroke engines. Their sizes also vary. They can be from 50cc to 500cc. In professional settings, the motorbike is divided into two depending on their displacements. They can be MX or MX Lite. MX Lite category has a two-stroke 125cc engine and a four-stroke 250cc engine. MX category, however, has a two-stroke 250cc engine and then a four-stroke 450cc engine. The Scrambler motorcycles usually have large engines and are also used for freestyle motocross. Contrary to what most people think, the Scramblers have been in existence for quite a long time. In fact, the Scramblers of today are upgrades of the old ones, like a version 2.0. The modern Scrambler is a remake of the style in the 1960s when the Scramblers were the in-thing. The Scrambler origin is just like many types of off-road motorcycles. In the early days of the 20th century, club motorbikers would modify standard or multipurpose motorcycles to suit their needs. In those days, dirt bikes were not available. So, if you needed any dirt bike, what you had to do was to get a regular track bike and modify it. The motorbikes are usually adjusted for speed. Racers wanted motorcycles that could move really fast and help them win races. Cafe racers always chose the normal racetracks for their races. But the Scrambler racers were speed conscious and more adventurous. They would choose the closest line in between the start and the finish line. They did not care where these paths or tracks would lead. It did not matter if it led through a stream, muddy pathways, or fields. They would drive through virtually anywhere but the prescribed racetracks. Their manner of riding was called, as the bird flies manner. This was troublesome for regular bikes and that was why the motorbikes were modified. The motorbike had to transit from well-paved roads to different terrains and back to the road again. Due to this, the regular motorbikes were modified to suit any kind of terrain that it would encounter. The motorbikes were stripped, and their weights were reduced to enhance acceleration. This is because, the heavier the bike was, the harder it was for it to move as fast as was needed. The motorcycles were given taller suspensions, spooky wheels, and knotty tires. The scramblers had to adjust the position of the exhausts. The exhaust was brought up closer, directly under the seat. These adjustments are the main attractions of the modern scrambler. The popularity of the scramblers increased as the fame of motocross racing started growing. Motorcycle manufacturers utilized this opportunity and started making dirt bikes that were all purposes and used for racing off normal racing tracks. As dirt bikes came into the scene, the practice of turning regular motorcycles into scramblers stopped. How did the scrambler get its name? There was a race where the motorbikes had to juggle between two or more terrains. The commentator that day described the race as being a scramble. That was how the name got stuck. In recent times, the scramblers have been more like a show motorbike. It is used to qualify the look of the motorbike than the purpose of the motorbike. The modern ones are built to show the raw, nostalgic, and stripped-down model of the ancient scramblers. They do not really perform well off the road like the ones of the 1900s. Basic makeups of scramblers are 1. A general stripped down look. 2. Double rear shocks. 3. Knobby tires. 4. Small headlight and mini gauges. 5. High placed exhaust pipes. 6. A double cylinder engine or a single air cooled torque engine. 7. A padded and short seat. 8. A really small fuel tank. Today, there are various types of scramblers available. They are, 1. Triumph Scrambler. Triumph Scrambler Bonneville was the first line of the modern Scrambler. It was first made in the year 2006. It was the sole Scrambler that was available for sale for almost 10 years. It was made on the Bonneville platform that was known for motorbikes with nostalgic looks. The motorbike had just looks and not the performance. It was overweight, too heavy for real scrambling. Also, the engine was not strong enough to effectively power the motorbike. 2. 
The Ducati Scrambler launched in 2015, broke the nine-year hold of the Triumph Scrambler. The Ducati bike had what Triumph lacked in performance. There was however an issue that critics had with this Scrambler. The placing of the exhaust was not high up. And high exhaust was one of those important things that made a bike a Scrambler. 3. Moto Guzzi V7 Stornello Scrambler has the looks but it falls short in performance. Just like the Triumph, it is underpowered and very heavy. This cannot be used for any sort of off-the-road traveling or stunt. Critics also complain about the exhaust of the Moto Guzzi. Even though it is high, it is not placed in a way that appeals to the eye. 4. BMW R Ninette Scrambler 5. Yamaha 689cc XSR 706. Benelli Leoncino Trail. This is a type of scrambler that imbibes the true Italian spirit of cycling. It has spoked wheels, knobby tires, and used for suspension travel. This is one of the scramblers that can really go anywhere like the retro motorcycle. Do you know another high-performance scrambler other than those mentioned above? Please feel free to share in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimmotorbike.com for more awesome motorbike content like this.